Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama. On today's episode, I love figure skating. I really do. However, there are things about the sport that bugs me. As the Olympic season gets underway, I wanted to just bring up some of my pet peeve with figure skating. Starting off with tights pulled halfway over the skates. Why? Why halfway? Why not just pull the tights completely over the boots? Or better yet, just take the time to tuck the tights neatly into the boots. I can't even count how many times a skater takes center ice and I get excited only to look down and see the tights half pull over the boots and cringe inside. It literally looks like the lower part of the skater and the upper part of the skater is out of sync. It's such a small thing. However, for me, it's such a major put off. Having that tight just partially pulled over the boots, especially in senior ladies skating, it looks so messy to me. The second pet peeve also goes hand in hand with the tights and that is that orange brown tight that don't match anything that so many skaters wear. I'm not sure how difficult it is for skaters to find tights that are close to their skin tones. However, when a skater stepped on ice and her lower body is covered by a pair of tight that is five shade different from her upper body, That is just an automatic visual put off. This is even worse when the discolored tight is pulled halfway over the skate. The visual visual is just so distracting to me that it takes away from the overall effect of the packaging. Even if skaters can't find tights that match their skin tone perfectly, please stay away from the orange brownish standard tight. And if you have no choice but to put on the orange brownish tight, at least tuck them into your boots so that they are less noticeable. Number three is black, white, or gray costumes. Unless you're coming with a Tessa Virtue level designer black dress, please bring some color to the ice. Black, white, and gray are just not colors that film well with a white backdrop. Especially if the dress has a lot of fine detail, picking these three colors just means all that hard work is wasted. Also, we have a rainbow of colors with hundreds of variations to pick from. Please add a pop of color. There's so many black dresses this season for the Olympic that is depressing. Number four. Social media overexposure. I know this is the time that we live in and everyone has to post everything on TikTok, Instagram, or or Twitter. But I really wish some of these coaching teams would show some restraint. By putting everything on social media, while it may be a good way to psych out your opponents, you are also putting undue pressure on your skater. Also, over overposting leads to unrealistic expectation from the fandom. Once we see something in a social media clip, we not think we're going to see it in competition. And let's be honest, most of the time we don't. So I pray that the skating teams would like tone down the whole social media posting a little. Number five, throwaway moves. This happens in all four disciplines where the choreographer just adds a move that has nothing to do with the program or the music. Maybe they think it's cool or unique. However, these throwaway moves more often than not simply disrupt the flow of the program. They're unnecessary, they're abrupt, and they're harsh for the viewers. I wish the choreographers would really think more about the placements of move and how it fits with the program as a whole. Throwaway moves are usually accompanied by my number six pet peeve, which is the whole soundtrack. Why do choreographers feel the need to put every song 
on a movie soundtrack into a two or four minute program. Most of the time, one song has nothing to do with another and hearing them back to back in a program is so jarring. Or when they decide they're going to pick two different songs from two different movies and they are going to mesh them together into one. Why? I don't know. Please be kind to our ears when you guys are creating these programs. Number seven, overly dramatic ringside coaches. I know figure skating is a dramatic sport. However, the coaches don't have to be so dramatic. It's one thing if the coach is into the program and they're getting excited when the skater is performing well or they're mentally doing the physical jump with the skater. That is one thing. However, those coaches who are on the sideline acting like the world is coming to an end just because a skater missed an element really need to tone it down. We know how much time and effort the coaching team puts into the skaters. And when the skater is not performing to their standard, you feel disappointment. However, the judges and us, the audience, we are watching. And we might not have thought the mistake was that bad. However, if you, the coaches, are on the sideline acting like all hope is lost, we're going to change our mind and start thinking this mistake was bigger than it is. And the judges might, in effect, give the skater a lower mark than they otherwise would have. So please, again, coaches, let us bring it down with the negative dramatic act. Number eight, pet peeve. The way we talk about junior girl skaters versus the way we talk about boy skaters. A commentator is quick to say that a 17-year-old boy skater with only triples has got all the time he needs to get those quads. Because honestly, that junior boy will likely have a career into his late 20s and even 30s. However, that same commentator will see a 13-year-old girl skater with all of her triples cleanly landed, and that commentator will say, she doesn't have her triple axle and quad yet, as if that 13-year-old girl should have it. It's not completely the commentator's fault because if that girl skater doesn't have quads by 14, her chances of being relevant, especially if she's from Russia, is slim. Yet, even with a quad and triple axle, that poor girl's career might die before she even makes it out of teens. But the way we talk about it puts an undue expectation on the girls, even if we know the reality is that their time is limited, I think we should be very careful as commentators as to how we present the situation. And now the last pet peeve, but not the least, number nine, is all of the politic that is involved in skating. I know that every subjective sport where judging is involved has a level of politic in it. However, skating takes it to a whole other level. Sometimes you watch an event and it seems like the judges already have the outcome work out before the skaters even take the ice. I just wish the spirit of fair play was followed a little more in skating. That whatever the skater performed on that day at that time is what the judges judge, regardless of where the skater was from, who the skaters coaches, and all the other political factors. That all that mattered was the performance on the ice at that time. I know that's not going to happen, but that's just what I wish would happen. How about you? What are some of your pet peeves regarding figure skating? Some of the things you love, some of the things you wish you never see again. Please let me know in the comments below.